Hello everyone and welcome to this video on integrating Power BI with other applications. I am Tim Weinzapfel and I am doing a number of videos showing how you can integrate Power BI with applications such as Power Apps and Power Automate and SharePoint and Teams. Um, so this video is all around inter, uh, an inter introduction to Power Automate. Now I did a video just uh, the other, just last week, um, to showing you how you can start to integrate Power Automate with your in your Power BI report and create a very simple flow on refreshing a data set. But it got me thinking, before we jump too deep into uh, integrating with Power Automate flows, I thought it'd be a kind of a good, um, uh, good thing to do a video, just an overall introduction for those folks who are doing a lot of Power BI development and may not be familiar with Power Automate. So, this video is just kind of to give you a, a broad um, overview. And what I'm going to start doing then is jumping into some specific examples in uh, upcoming videos. So, Power Automate is part of the overall Microsoft's Power Platform. I'm over here on Microsoft's site, and this will talk about some different applications. You have Power BI up here. Uh, Power Apps is another component um, which we will get into um, in some future videos. And then you have Power Automate here, which it says here to streamline processes. And that's exactly what it is. It's an application that allows you to automate um, standard tasks. And it integrates very nicely with Power BI and it allows you to add in a button in your Power BI report that will trigger what are called flows that will then kick off uh, processes and tasks. Now, in the previous video that I did, I showed how uh, you can add in a button that will trigger a Power BI refresh. I'm going to be getting in, um, into other videos and showing other um, examples that you can use it for directly from your Power BI report. But first, wanted to kind of give an overview. Now, um, you can access Power Automate directly if you just go over here to uh, you know, makepowerautomate.com. And this is where you can actually start building in specific flows. Now, again, not even related to Power BI. What, we're, what I'm going to do is really focus on creating a flow in the overview, really from a Power BI development standpoint, because you can actually access um, and create flows directly from your Power BI desktop. And I will show that. But um, you can also access Power Automate directly from its application here. If you're new to Power Automate, or you're not even familiar with it, you know, first question always comes up is, okay, you know, why use it? What, what, what does it bring to, you know, my Power BI report? And um, I've got one simple example here. Again, I'm going to do a bunch more examples in, in some future videos here. But what it allows you to do is trigger flows that will, you know, will automate a process. So here's a simple example. And this is the example I did in a previous video where this, um, I'm hovering over a Power Automate button that if I click on this and it says trigger, what it, it's doing is it's just kicked off a refresh. Very similar if I were to go up here and hit the refresh button, or if you're on the Power BI service, if you, you, know, you do a scheduled refresh, that's essentially what it did. So I've got that set behind the scenes. I don't have to do anything. And then when I publish this report on the web, uh, end users can also do that as well. So that's a simple example, but there are other things you can do. And again, uh, I will cover these in this future videos as we get more into some uh, complex flows. But if you think about when you're looking at a report, you want to be able to do some action. So uh, the most simplest example, and this will be my next video, is when I'm looking at a report, say I want to, you know, select I want to um, either select individuals here or I want to you know, send, uh, send an automatic email to um, people in this list. I can actually set up a flow that will automate that email process and even include in dynamic information from uh, my report in that email. So that's, that's one example. Uh, you can uh, you know, set it up to, let's say I want to update some information in a SharePoint list. So there's a whole... Um, number of things that can be done by integrating Power Automate into your report. And so that's one thing I want to cover. But again, I want to kind of give the quick overview of how it relates to Power BI. So before getting into creating a flow in Power BI, I want to first talk about triggers and actions. So triggers and actions are the two components that are in every flow. And triggers 
are always the first um, step. And that's something, that's the action that, uh, I'll say the trigger, that actually causes the flow to begin. So if I go here and I'm in the normal Power um, Automate, if I go here to create a new one, let me just create an automated cloud flow and I'm gonna skip this here. Now, first thing is um, Microsoft is moving to a new uh, layout. I'm gonna switch to the new, to the old one. Um, and because I'm still used to it, what it's gonna ask for is the first step is always gonna be what's called a trigger. And again, I, you can have a button here that triggers it um, in Power BI. Let me just do that one because I wanna focus in that area. There are various triggers that you can do. Now, when you are adding in the button, and we will do that here in a, in a second, um, from the Power BI desktop, it's always gonna have this uh, Power BI button clicked because that is the trigger. That's what you're adding to your report. And that's what will start it. So the first step here, this is a trigger. And then everything you add after that are called actions. So if you go into any of these connectors, these are all called connectors, but let me just go over to a Power BI so you can see what the, um, what the actions are there. These are again, actions that you can take um, Power BI actions. Now, what I'll be showing is not actions from Power BI, but other actions with other connectors, uh, such as using Outlook and uh, SharePoint and you know other actions there. So those will be in some subsequent videos. But for right now, I wanna be very clear on what a trigger is up here at the top and then what your actions are. So once you have your flow created, uh, and, I'm, and in this video, I'm not gonna actually walk through creating flow because we're gonna have, um, be a number of videos around that um, but what you'll do is you'll see the ones that are listed and then you can go ahead and apply one thing to be aware of is let's say so this is one i've created to refresh my flow if i go ahead and click apply it'll say you've successfully applied the flow to your button i'll go back to it and you'll see that the button is now changed i can go ahead and i can customize the button the text the fill, all of some other properties, I can do that. Just be aware that if you go, once you apply one, if I go back to edit, there is no indication. Um, there, that's the one that I did apply, but you'll see there's no indication of what's applied. So just be aware of that. So I hope this gives a quick uh, overview and introduction to Power Automate. I well, Like I said, I'm gonna have some upcoming videos that's going to really focus on um, what you can do in your Power BI report, having this button, and then passing along all of this data um, and triggering these flows. So make sure if you like this, uh, subscribe, and I will be putting out some uh, videos here uh, in the near future. Thanks very much.